Hello, on this episode, I'm finishing up the toolbar. We're just gonna be covering the hand and the zoom tools on this specific episode. To select the hand tool, the shortcut is H. I'm gonna hit H for hand, it brings up this little hand here. And basically, all this is is a way of navigating through your timeline here, of dragging it and looking at different types of the parts of your timeline. You can just use your hand here, you grab it, doesn't select any clips, it just moves your timeline back and forth. Now the hand tool can be kind of useful if you're trying to quickly find a certain portion of the, of the timeline, but kind of a quick way of viewing your entire timeline, remember, is going to be plus to zoom up, minus to zoom out, and the slash above your return or enter key will show your entire timeline. So if you're trying to navigate to a certain, to a specific part of your timeline, it's sometimes helpful to hit the slash key, grab your playhead, move it to the portion of your timeline that you want, and then hitting plus, 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 plus to zoom up. And actually, let's talk about the zoom tool, because these ones are kind of, I don't want to say useless, but I hardly use them because of the shortcuts. Hand tool probably a little bit more often, just because I can quickly hit H, grab this and move it over. But let's look at the zoom tool. The zoom tool here, if we hit Z for zoom, is basically turns the magnifying glass here into a little plus symbol. If you click anywhere on the timeline here, let's click right here, it's going to zoom, 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 zoom. It zooms up closer to your edits here so you can really see what you're doing. Now, if you do, if you wanna zoom out, you hold down your Alt or Option key as a modifier key, it turns this into the minus and you click, 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 and it zooms out. Now, like I said, this zoom tool is kind of useless because, uh, let's go back to our arrow tool, our selection tool here, because on the very top of the keyboard, not on the numpad, but the very top of the keyboard, you've got your plus and your minus key, and just a little bit down to the right, you've got your slash key, your, you've got your slash key that's right above your enter or return key. So if you want to zoom on your timeline, let's say we want to get to a different point, let's say we want to zoom up and kind of work on trimming this clip right here, you hit plus, 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 if you keep hitting plus, it'll soon just like get up to where you have these individual frame increments here as I arrow backwards. It goes through frame by frame, and you can see how close that is there. If you hit minus, 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 it keeps zooming out. But if you want to suddenly see your whole timeline all at once, hit your slash key. It shows the entire timeline from beginning to end, and now you can quickly navigate to the portion of your timeline that you want and hit plus, 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 and zoom up to it. So plus, 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 minus, 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 and slash kind of eliminates the use of the zoom tool right here, but that's basically what that zoom tool and the hand tools are used for.